yeah, right now I'm excited about just getting my art more in the public eye. Like lately I've seen that um, it's being accepted more and people are more in interested in what, like who I am because they haven't seen my work and it's, I guess it's kind of fresh here in Seattle. And uh, it's exciting to me because, you know, I'm learning different avenues of where I can really take this. My mom, she told me that she would always find me like under tables drawing and stuff. So I was pretty uh, introverted, I guess. I started drawing at least by seven years old. I was pretty confident around, you know, 15. I just started drawing a lot. And I used to do a lot of skateboarding, so a lot of the decks that you buy, they have artwork on them. So I was really like interested in that kind of work too. So maybe that's why I, I do like a lot of bold and illustrative cartoon stuff rather than like more figurative and realistic realism. So I like it more because it's, it's more playful. I, I drew throughout high school and I always took art classes seriously. I did decide to go to community college and it was an associate of applied science, advertising graphics and design degree. Anyway, after I got that degree, I went on and I, I had my daughter. So uh, I took a break, you know, and I didn't go back for at least four years. So I could, you know, become, be a father and really just kind of, it forced me to get a job. You know, you know <laughs> be an adult. I had gone to my graphic design degree and then I immediately went into graphic design like production work. And I was an in-house graphic artist and I worked directly with the, with the structural engineer. My focus was um, layout design. So I would design the layout and then I would send it to the company and they would make printing plates for the, to manufacture um, boxes. So we went from produce to TV boxes to, um, you know, like alarm systems. Like it is just random parts. I basically got tossed around at different plants doing the same job. And once, like I had done all of them, it was like, like what am I gonna do here? Like, I'm tired of this, so I need to like move on. And that's when, um, I got the opportunity to move to Seattle. And um, so I moved here and I struggled for like a year and a half. Finally landed uh, a job in aviation at Boeing, um, working directly with interior designers that do all of the, uh, you know, the assembly in, in the interior of the airplanes. I still continue to do my artwork. I have never taken a break from it. You know, if you, if you really, really put your time and effort into it, and there will be a point in that timeline where you'll have the work to show. When I went to school, I kind of had an, a strategy where I could study art and then I could study graphic design. So it, there was both avenues that I could take. I do have a family, you know, and I do have to support them. So, you know, I, I do strive to get, you know, the best job that I can. And then until I could make a living off my art, then I'll do that. But for now, like, you gotta have a plan, so. Basically, um, moving to Seattle, like, I got one big show. A lady by the name of Anna Hurwitz, she invited me to do the 24-hour art marathon for Coca. From there, I met Ciolo Thompson, and then she invited me to do a show at True Love Art Gallery. And then, you know, that show just led to another show, and then, and so on. 
you want your last show to be your best work so you continually do your best and then when the opportunities come you show your best work Right now it's 2018. I just completed the mural at Soto Trek, and that you could find at Peace Vans, which is on like Bayview in Soto. So if you take the light rail and you get off on Soto Track Station, my mural will be visible from there. Um, you can find me on Instagram at, at Gabriel Marquez Art. You can find my website at www.gabrielmarquez.us. And uh, right now, I'm getting ready to do a show for, for the COCA 24-hour art marathon again. And uh, I'm just looking forward to that.